Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube video, and today I will be showing you how I made 3D printed air compressor fittings. So today we'll be testing and seeing if these things are, can actually work as an air compressor fitting. So for the design of this, I got most of this, I got pretty much this part of the fitting off of Thingverse. Then I added this hex head in, then I added the cylinder in. And so, the hex head on the air, compress air compressor fitting is stripped very easily. So I upgraded it to a square, which will pretty much solve that problem. And then all we really have to do is use a die, put some threads on it, and then we'll test it. So for this one, I did a very simple test. You plug it in and the screw is just made to plug up the hole. So I'll do a review of that first. Alright, so I'm going to test this at 50 PSI. I'm not going to go above this because this is just plastic. It's not made for practical use. Just something, a a minute pinch and I just needed to test something very quick. I would use these, but here we go. Let's see if the... I don't... There's no leaks. I can't hear anything, but I'll... Put it close to my ear. No, nope, I don't really hear anything. So that pretty much works, which is pretty cool. So now we threaded it. Let me take this out of the vise quick. Here we go. So the problem with that using the die is, is that we can see we got like half the threads on. There's a large chunk that rips off for whatever reason. So getting this on may be a bit of a challenge, but let's see if we can do it. All right. So right now I have this assortment of O-rings. What I want to do is, is put an O-ring at the bottom of this female adapter. So... When I put this compressor in, it'll push up against the O-ring and not the plastic, so that should give me somewhat of a good seal. So, let's see if that can work. Alright, so here is the O-ring at the bottom of the female adapter. So now I'm going to screw it on and let's see if it works. Alright, so I screwed it on. I went on pretty easily and I think I have it just about all the way in just to make sure let's see yeah that's i don't want to push it anymore because i don't want to strip the threads because they're plastic and they're fragile all right so here's our pressure test at 50 psi so let's see if we can hear any leaks Whew, yep you can hear that so now so now i'm going to see what went wrong and see if we can fix it Alright, so the O-rings didn't really do anything to solve our leakage, so I have some Teflon tape, and I'm going to screw this into our female adapter, so let's see if that'll solve it. Alright, so here's our test at 50 PSI. Alright, so I have no idea what's going to happen here, but here we go. I don't hear anything. Let's see if... Camera can hear anything? I don't think it can. Let's see. That works. So it looks like the Teflon tape solved our issue. So with 50 PSI, we can definitely use this in a few applications, maybe. Like our compressed air engine, we could throw these in because our compressed air engine uses like five metal nail fittings like this, and the plastic ones are pretty cheap and easy to make. Alright, if you want to see the compressed air engine video, I'll put I'll put it right here. And if you want to subscribe to my channel and help me out, hit right there. And what should our third video be? I'll do the 3D printed lathe chuck right there, because that one I really like doing. 
And thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.